peace infinite waters diving deep once again we are out here in nature baby can you hear that bird up there that's a good sign twin flames Uh uh-oh how to recognize someone's your twin flame let's just woo breathing in that good ass prana baby i got a question that came in ralph how can i recognize someone's my twin flame by the way ralph i loved your video on soulmates it's just that i'm a little bit greedy ralph i want to find my twin flame forget about a soulmate ralph is that you too you're like i got my soulmate right now I found my soulmate, but it's not enough. Oh no, it is not enough. You're not satisfied. You are after your twin flame. We ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? (laughs) This is sexology. Water, fire, hot, cold, yin, yang. Daddy's home, we're back. Now, I found my twin flame after going on Google, (laughs) after a long time. You see, there is a difference between a soulmate and a twin flame. What is the difference, Ralph? A soulmate is your perfect match. A twin flame is your perfect mirror. Slow motion this side. So while we can have many soulmates in different countries and a soulmate could be your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, a random stranger on the beach, even the cat down the road, Twin Flame is your perfect mirror. That's why it's very rare (laughs) to find, okay? But how can you really know someone is your true twin flame? Did you grow up watching fairy tales, ladies? Are you still waiting for your prince? Yeah? Has he come yet? No. What happened? He got lost. Oh my gosh. Okay. What helped me along my journey to recognize someone's my twin flame You just click. Have you ever met someone and it's really awkward? That's not your twin flame, (laughs) by the way. Your twin flame, you have an instantaneous connection. Click. You just click. It's not an ordinary click, like with a soulmate click. It's a click like, oh my gosh, I've known you in different lifetimes kind of click. (laughs) it's a click like oh my gosh we can read each other's minds right now and this is really kind of trippy kind of click it's a click where you don't even have to speak but both of you feel each other okay that's one little sign to recognize someone's your twin flame nothing is forced you get off to a great start right off the bat okay you're like oh my gosh i just feel you i just know you i just click with you and we aren't even talking (laughs) your twin flame is more than just someone you kiss at night that's pretty beautiful right (laughs) they are more than just your lover your twin flame is someone who is your best friend right now who is your best friend and your lover and your therapist and someone who massages your toes who is going to do that for you who can you be yourself around without trying to try too hard you will never have to force anything with a twin flame let me repeat that Do you like when they say that? Do you like when I say that? Let me repeat that, right? You will never have to force anything with a twin flame. 
they are your best friend, you can confide in them. You can become vulnerable with your twin flame. You can't do that with anybody else. Like you can do it with them. Like you can tell them secrets. They're not secrets anymore. You can dive deep with them. In essence, you recognize someone's your twin flame when you can have a lot of depth with that person. You have a greater intimacy. The level of intimacy with a twin flame is out of this world. It's like, whoa, my gosh, it's crazy. You see, with an ordinary person, intimacy is kind of, ah. Uh, with a soulmate, it's pretty good. With a twin flame, it's like out of this world. You start flying away. You are so intimate with them, not just in a physical way, in a mental way. You share the same heart space. Slow motion this side, Ralph. Mm. <laughs> now, it was all good just a week ago. That's kind of like how it is with a twin flame because your twin flame is your perfect mirror. So they can read you like a book. You can't lie to your twin flame because they are your perfect mirror. They're just like you. To recognize someone's your twin flame, you know by asking yourself, how much does this person teach me about myself? Everybody can teach us about ourselves, but no, no, no. Your twin flame is really, 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 really going to teach you about yourself. Oh my gosh, it's time to enroll in class right now. Get your books out. That's right. Your twin flame is your greatest teacher. And sometimes it is beautiful. It can become painful because they teach you and give you the hardest life lessons. Okay, they are teaching you more about yourself. They are your greatest healer too, because they help you work on unresolved issues within yourself. They are highlighting everything you need to work on within yourself. And that's why the twin flame relationship is the most passionate. Uh-oh, wait for it. It is the most intense. Uh-oh, it is the most life-changing. Uh-oh, it is the most beautiful. At the same time, it is the most challenging. Okay? It can become the most challenging because you are seeing your shadow side. They are cracking you open like a walnut crack. Oh my gosh, you're looking a bit shaky right now, baby. <laughs> That's what your twin flame does. They open you up. They shake you up. They stir you up, okay? They make you feel things nobody else can. Nobody else can awaken you like a twin flame can. They help you evolve to a higher level of consciousness. Okay, many times how it works is like this. You can recognize someone's your twin flame when you meet someone and all of a sudden you just click. But also they start to help you open the doors of perception. They give you a greater perspective on life. They show you what really matters. Like you could be like, okay, I'm so materialistic. When you meet your twin flame, all of that goes out of the window. Cause you're like, okay, I get it right now. Love is the most beautiful thing in the universe. The most powerful force in the universe. Oh baby. They turn you into a poet. We ain't even had breakfast yet. You're writing now. Uh Oh, getting really creative. I've never felt like this before, Ralph. What's happened to me? That's what happens when you meet your twin flame. They bring out the best in you. However, they can also bring out the worst in you because emotions are so intense. You see, what's helped me along my journey is to realize this. You see, 
your twin flame. You can't lose your twin flame. They will never <laughs> disappear out of your life. However, to recognize if someone's your twin flame, to recognize if someone's your twin flame, take a pause moment. Doing that, great. Who are you so in love with? And they are, they are so in love with you. Same resonance, a sympathetic vibration. Both of you are vibrating towards each other. However, one of you is the runner. Okay, that's usually what happens in the twin flame relationship. And that's how you can really identify your twin flame. It's like both of you are like so good together, but one of you is running away because it's like so intense. One of you can't handle this amount of love. You're like, oh my gosh, did I just land on this Venus, like the love planet, what's happening right now? Okay, it can get really intense. One of you is usually the runner. And that's why a lot of times, you know, someone's, you know, someone's your twin flame, you know, someone's your twin flame, when the relationship is usually on, and then off and then on again, is very inconsistent. Because with a twin flame, it is so intense. It's like an earthquake kind of intense, right? A soulmate is cool, right? They are your perfect match. You just cruise with a soulmate, but the twin flame is like the holy grail. When you meet your twin flame, it's gonna be profound. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be life changing. And therefore one of you might start to run away. Come back here. Right. So that's why a lot of people write to me and they're like, Ralph, I found my twin flame. Well, I thought I did. They just ran away, Ralph. Like that's what happens. Sometimes you may not see a twin flame for a year, two years. However, they'll always come back because we ain't even had breakfast yet. They'll get hungry, right? They'll come back because both of you are one. Now, how to recognize someone's your twin flame. You have a deep familiarity. It's what I call the connection at first sight. Love at first sight, the connection at first sight. The connection, the connection at first sight, baby. Like with a twin flame, to know if someone's your twin flame, like look at different people in their eyes right now in your life. Just look at them in their eyes and, and then see how you feel. Are you like, do I know this person? Can I feel this person in my heart space? No, you can't go to the next one. Look at them right in their eyes and then feel, close your eyes, take a moment to feel, then open them again and then look them right in the eyes. You see, when you have found your twin flame, you are gonna look someone in the eyes who is your twin flame and you're gonna have a flashback moment. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, we have existed in so many past lives together. I feel at one with you. Those eyes look so familiar, baby. Okay. And staring into their eyes, you feel this tranquility, this serenity. You feel at peace. You feel at one with them. And that's how to recognize someone's your twin flame. The eyes don't lie. Say it again, Ralph. The eyes don't lie. Say it again, Ralph. The eyes don't lie. It's in the eyes. That's why in ancient times, they would say the eyes are the windows to the soul. So start staring at people in their eyes. If you can't do it for more than five minutes, then they're not your twin flame. Sorry about that. Cat down the road is apologizing to you. <laughs> seven day vegan challenge. Now we're having so much fun with a seven day vegan challenge, how to recognize someone's your twin flame. Both of you will share the same food diet. I knew my twin flame because they were also, they were also eating a plant-based diet like me, stuffing a lot of grapes in their mouth too. And also bringing an avocado to a restaurant just like me. That's my twin flame. Okay. So, <laughs> we think alike because we are one. You both share the same food diet without force. That's essential. Without force. 
ladies, fellas, ladies first, you are writing to me like, Ralph, I, I really love doing the seven day vegan challenge. I'm really trying to force my boyfriend, my husband, my, my partner to start stuffing a whole load of grapes in his mouth, but he doesn't want to, he just wants to eat steak all day. And I, it's okay. That's not your twin flame, by the way, because your twin flame will always have the same diet as you without force. You don't want to force people to change what they are eating. Like I'm good. I don't want to force anybody to change what they are eating. It's too late for that. With a twin flame, you don't have to force them. You don't have to tell them what to eat. Both of you share the same food language. Okay, both of you are on maybe a raw food journey, a plant-based journey. You're giving each other food tips. And that's why both of you don't mind kissing each other for like five hours. Cause like, you know what's both going inside of you. It's just grapes. That's like really good. Full of anthocyanins and antioxidants and things like that. <laughs> now, how to recognize someone's your twin flame. What helped me along my journey was to realize this. When it comes to being with your twin flame, being in the presence of your twin flame, it's almost as if the world just comes to a grinding halt. The dolphins come out of the ocean and then they just jump up really high, then go back down. They're happy for you, right? Birds are singing for you. Oh, isn't that sweet, right? But the time you spend together, even if it's only a short amount of time before someone else starts running away, before they start running away, it is the most profound time ever spent in your life. You will never forget being in the presence of a twin flame. Let me repeat that. You will never forget being in the presence of your twin flame. So deep divers, how many times have you met someone you've really liked? But then you're like, okay, fast forward a few months. You're like, oh, I can't even remember what they look like. Uh-uh. With a twin flame. No, no, that's never happening. You can always remember what they look like. Because even if you only spend a few days with the twin flame, it lasts for an eternity. Slow motion this side. <laughs> it is unforgettable. That's what you are. You, you're making me get all Nat King Cole on you, right? <laughs> That's what a twin flame is, baby. They are unforgettable. Unforgettable. That's how to recognize someone's your twin flame. You will never, ever forget your twin flame, even if you only spend five minutes with your twin flame. However, most people we just forget, right? You can't even remember that person you met last Tuesday. Exactly. With a twin flame, that's never gonna happen. Now, what usually happens in the twin flame dynamic and relationship and how to recognize someone's your twin flame, many times there's something standing in between both of you. Okay, that's why we always expect for twin flames to be together. And that usually isn't the case. Usually we are with our soulmate. People, the twin flame relationship that has manifested, if you've manifested it, you found the Holy Grail because that is the pinnacle. That is the ultimate. And that can only happen when both people move all of the obstacles in the, they move, they move all of the obstacles out of the way, okay? Many times there are obstacles standing in the way of twin flame. Sometimes it's your job, you meet them at a inconvenient time in your life, wrong time, family issues, you're just studying, they've got children already. It doesn't matter, they are your twin flame and you have to work past that, okay? Once again, a lot of the times there are obstacles in the way of the twin flame reunion. However, if both of you want it enough, you will rise past the obstacles. When both of you put the ego aside, 
to say actually these obstacles are nothing compared to our love for each other, then both of you will be together and make beautiful babies who will say, can I get a hello there? Right? <laughs> the respect is mutual. How to recognize someone's your twin flame? The respect is mutual. I know that <clears throat> whenever you are in the presence of a twin flame, the ego dissolves. You see, many times we meet people and they bring us more into our ego. We feel we have to prove something to someone. To recognize someone's your twin flame, ask yourself, who do I have in my life where I don't even have to prove anything to them? Like, I don't have to try and impress them with how much money I... Actually, I don't have money, right? That's... <laughs> how much money I have, where I live. You don't have to impress them. What I'm wearing, you don't have to impress them. They will accept you 100% even if you only have a big, even if, even if you only have a bin bag wrapped around your head and you're butt naked, they will accept you because that's what a twin flame does when no one else will accept you, they will, okay? There is mutual respect, no ego when both of you connect. It dissolves, okay? Both of you deep down are rooting for each other. However, once again, a twin flame connection sometimes is the holy grail. So both of you have to make an extra effort to make it work. How to recognize someone's your twin flame. You don't have to chase a twin flame, even though they are the runner. They will always be drawn back to you. You don't have to force anything that is truly meant to be. That's how to recognize someone's your twin flame. You may not speak to that person for three months, but they'll be back if they are your twin flame. You don't have to speak to someone for one year, but they'll be back if they are your twin flame. You could have a little argument. Life isn't perfect, but you will always resolve it if they are your twin flame. Because once again, your twin flame is literally you in another time and space. You can never be separated from your twin flame. It's impossible. They are a part of you. You are one. So... You never have to force anything. You don't have to chase someone who is truly meant to be in your life. However, realize this, that to really recognize someone's your twin flame and to really make it work, you have to start focusing on what is most important. Okay. Now, you are attuned to each other. You have a resonance. Resonance meaning returning to sound. You are both singing the same song. You both have the same level of consciousness or the same level of awareness. That's how to recognize someone's your twin flame. So where you could meet someone and be like, yeah, my pineal gland. And they'll be like, what are you talking about? Why are you so deep around me? Right? That's not your twin flame. Your twin flame is on the same wavelength as you. They are vibrating at the same frequency as you. As you are changing your frequency, they are also changing their frequency. Both of you are aligned in the most beautiful complementary way. When you are with your twin flame, you feel at one with the universe because you are attuned to them. You don't even have to speak but you are communicating something to them in the most serene, harmonious way. You feel each other without touching each other. What? Say it again, Ralph. Getting emotional out here. You feel each other without touching each other. Okay? And that's the beauty of it. I met someone on the beach and they're like, yeah, I don't really want to get into a lot of these 3D relationships. I'm only going to get into a relationship where someone can touch me without touching me. Isn't that beautiful? That's a twin flame, baby. It's coming for you. <laughs> so there you have it. Beautiful deep divers. How to recognize someone's your twin flame. 
They are your perfect mirror. And no matter how far they wander, they will always come back. And both of you, together, will say, Feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Hey. Beautiful deep divers, we are chillaxing in the heart of nature, so smooth, with the birds all around us. Have a beautiful day. We're just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You! <laughs> and there she is, Twin Flame over there. And there he is for you, ladies. <laughs>